In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the scanning with your Canon Pixima TS3725 all in one printer. For scanning, we have to connect this printer with the Windows laptop or a MacBook or a tablet or a smartphone. Right now, I'm just going to use a Windows 11 laptop. In the laptop, you will see there is an app that is Canon Print app. In Windows 11, you can use that app. Once we open the app, we will see the option Scan. Click here. It will take you to the page where we can select some details. You can select if it's a document or photo, DPI, and then simply click on the Scan icon. You can see the scan is done. Now in case you have multiple pages and you want to save it as a single file, then you can go to the Windows 11 laptop and make sure you select the option save multiple pages as a single file and the format should be PDF. Once you do that, we can go back, place the second page facing down and then we can click on the next scan so that is the option here click on the next scan scan icon so we already have one page that is scanned on the top you can see two pages are available this way we can just keep adding the pages once we finish all the pages for the scanning click on the save on the next page it will ask you to give a name to your file so I'll just give a name and then click on the save you can save it at a desktop so we just finished the scanning now in case you want to use the smartphone you have to go to the Canon print app in the smartphone you can download this app and do the setup Again we can see our printer here, click on the scan icon, change setting, you can select if it's a document or photo, color mode, size of the lab. Then the size, you can select if it's a letter, A4 size, a photo, anything you can select here, go back, once you are ready click on the scan icon and press ok. So again it's scanning. In the same way you can add more pages here. If you want to add the second page, just place it here and then click on the scan icon. So that is the page 2. And to just save everything, click on the exit button. Click on this option. Use as PDF. If you use the JPEG, it will make two different copies, one page each. For JPEG, it will for PDF it will be all together. Save to files. You can again give a name to your file.
return click on the save so that is the way we can do the scanning with this printer if you have this printer connected with the computer using the USB cable then you can just do it in the different way and for that first you have to connect the USB cable for USB cable setup you have to use the USB cable go to the back side of the printer simply plug it in so there is an option to plug it in here connect the other end to your laptop or your computer once you plug it in go to the computer or laptop screen in the laptop click on the start button and then go to the settings click on the bluetooth and devices printers and scanners you have to look for your printer once you connect the USB cable it should be showing up here Canon 3700 series that is here select it you will see the option scanner setting open scanner this will open the Windows scan app now if you don't have this app you can download it from the Microsoft store so once you see this screen go to the option scanner click on it and look for the Canon 3700 series and select it select the file type you can select JPEG and there are some other formats and PDF once you are ready place the page on the scanner So that is the preview if you click on it it will give you the preview of the page and if you are ready for the scanning you can just click on the scan icon so it's going to scan the whole page Once you finish the scan, if you want you can add more pages and then click on the view. Automatically it will open the scanned page. Now we can close this window. So these are the way we can do the scanning with this printer and there are different methods. That's all about the scanning. Thanks for watching.